Xavi is about to arrange a revolution at Barcelona, Mbappé can move to Real in winter, and in France, the full salary data at PSG has been revealed to the public. Hello friends! Club football is temporarily in pause, though national teams and football insiders are keeping us busy. You know that, even when everything seems calm, the Football News Channel is still searching for important and relevant news just for you to enjoy. If yes, then a like and hit on the bell button would be the best gratitude for our team. Alright, before you start watching, give an answer to the question in the comments below. Yesterday there was a magical date, 11-11. Which footballer do you consider the greatest number 11 in history? Legendary Steven Gerrard is appointed the new head coach of Aston Villa. Here placed Dan Smith. The Lions paid the Rangers £3 million for his transfer. Isco, Bale and Marcelo are about to leave Real Madrid this summer as free agents. Modric's expiring contract will be updated. Barcelona is confident that the team will extend the contract with the 17-year-old midfielder Gavi for another five years. His salary will be increased from season to season. Chelsea is unhappy with Saul Niguez's shape. In winter, he is most likely to return to Atletico and travel to Barcelona on loan. Milan expects to extend the contract with Stefano Pioli before Christmas. He is offered a two-year contract with the option to prolong it for another season. Chelsea hasn't succeeded in negotiating a contract extension with Antonio Rudiger. He is already looking for a new club. Man City wanted to sign me. It is the first time in my career that has happened. That is part of being a big player. Dealing with those situations, and I think I dealt with it well. Fabrizio Romano quotes Kane. Barcelona is not considering Dani Alves' return to the team. He doesn't fit into Chavez's roster rejuvenation project. Next season, the Premier League will be paused on November 14th, a week before the start of the 2022 World Cup. The season will resume on December 26th, right in Boxing Day. Liverpool forward Sadio Mane was not available during the qualifiers for the 2022 World Cup against Togo due to injury. The diagnosis will be known later. European Super League creators used social media bots to improve the project's image. 3,600 identical comments from one account were counted. Frank Lampard is about to become the new head coach of Norwich City. The parties agreed on all the terms of the two-year contract. Arsenal made an offer to Juventus for the transfer of attacking midfielder Dejan Kulishevsky. Liverpool sporting director Michael Edwards steps down from the club as he takes a similar position at Newcastle. Czech billionaire Daniel Kretinsky has bought a 27% stake of West Ham. His fortune is estimated at $4 billion. In summer, Newcastle expects to be boosted by Napoli legend Lorenzo Insigne, whose contract expires at the end of the current season. West Ham central midfielder Declan Rice is not available at England due to the flu. Juventus offered Roma to loan Aaron Ramsey for the rest of the season. The Turins are willing to pay 60% of his salary. Leicester City defensive midfielder Wilfred Ndidi fell into the sphere of interest of Real Madrid. The Marengues can sign him in summer. Fenerbahce centre-back Attila Salai is on his way to Chelsea. The Eclipse agreed on a transfer for 23.4 million euros. All 20 English Premier League clubs oppose the idea of biennial World Cup. Before United, Pep said, We don't know how they are going to play. We shall see. And we stop training after 10 minutes or so. HLN quotes the Brunei. Arsenal and Fiorentina are eyeing Sassuolo leader Domenico Berardi. Gennaro Gattuso is a contender for Rangers head coach job. Earlier in career, he performed for the team from Glasgow. It's incredible. I don't understand how it's possible that I've been positive for COVID for 18 days. Tuta Sport quoted Nicolas Gonzalez. UEFA rejected Galatasaray's protest to award Lokomotiv a technical defeat. Lokomotiv player Zhiva Gladov was shown two yellow cards and was not sent off. Juventus and Inter will compete for the Italian Super Cup on December 12th. The match is going to take place at San Siro. It's been a while since I deleted Twitter. There's too much rubbish in there. For my part, I have no need to sit there and look at all that. TV2 quotes Odegaard. The supporters of German national team said goodbye to Joachim Löw with such a beautiful performance. How do you like it? Manchester United lead the fight for Sevilla defense leader Gilles Conde. He can move to the Red Devils for 80 million euros in winter. 
Antonio Conte blocked Eden Nazar's move to Tottenham, though he doesn't mind Gareth Bale's return to the club. Monaco won't sell French midfielder Aurélien Chouamini for less than 50 million euros. Yesterday, there was also a bunch of qualifying fixtures for the 2022 World Cup. All the results are in your screens. And now we are to dive into the main news of the release. Recently, Barcelona president Joan Laporta promised the club would make three top transfers in winter. However, it seems that he lied. According to Diario Sport, in January, Xavi, the newly minted head coach of the Catalans, will be given no more than 10 million euros for new players. Xavi's top priority is buying a new forward who could perform along the entire attacking line. Probably all the funds will be put to get such a player. New priority goals for Xavi as head coach of Barcelona have been revealed. The 41-year-old manager wants to revive Sergio Busquets' shape for him to adapt to Xavi's more modern football. Besides, the new Blaugrana coach intends to make Frankie de Jong a key figure in his squad. In addition to Raheem Sterling and Kingsley Coman, Xavi has identified two other potential candidates for the winger position. We are talking about Dani Alma from RB Leipzig and Ferran Torres from Manchester City. Another major aim of Xavi is the return of Ansu Fati and Usman Dembele to optimal conditions. He has already sacked the head of the club's medical department, Ramon Canal. Xavi is very concerned about the amount of injuries within the team. To make the players better prepared physically, the former midfielder introduced daily weightings before training. Players who deviate from the required weight will face additional training and penalties in case the situation repeats. Three players at once are going to leave Barcelona throughout the winter transfer window. The new coaching staff headed by Xavi sees no point in keeping them in the team. Forward Luke de Jong returns to Sevilla, to which he belongs, looking for a new club afterwards. What's more, in January, the club will do everything to get rid of centre-back Samuel Umtiti and the second goalkeeper Neto. Young winger Alex Collado will go on loan for the second half of the season. If they manage to sell one of these guys, the club will succeed in unloading the payroll. After that, it's likely that Xavi will have a bit more money for new transfers. The following summer, Kylian Mbappe's contract with PSG is finally coming to an end, although the club still has a chance to get some money on his sale. In January, Real Madrid plans to make a final offer to PSG on Mbappe's move. Thus, Los Blancas want to prove to the Parisian club that they never set themselves the aim of signing Mbappe as a free agent. Earlier on, it became known that Real and Mbappe have already agreed on all the terms of the personal contract. In case PSG refuses to release the player in winter, the Frenchman signs the agreement with the Real Club in February anyway. After the Mbappe deal is completed, Real will switch to negotiations with Erling Haaland, Paul Pogba and Antonio Rudiger. The latter two are possibly moving to Galacticos for free. The authoritative French edition L'Equipe published an article on how much all PSG players earn for a single season. Interestingly enough, this is where Real Madrid fans should be offended. It turned out that in Paris, the former Madrid captain Sergio Ramos earns 6 million euros per year, 6 million less than he asked from the management of Real. The parties did not meet his demands back then, so the 35-year-old defender went to France. Still, one needs to understand that this is the amount including all taxes paid. Leo Messi's salary is of course the highest. He receives an enormous amount of 41 million euros per season. Next comes Neymar with 38.8 million. And Mbappe closes the top three, having 25 and a half. Marco Verratti and Marquinhos each receive 15 million euros per season, while both goalkeepers Gianluigi Donnarumma and Kieler Navas are having 12 million. Friends, watch the suggested videos from our other projects, where you can always find top-notch content. And it was Football News. Thank you all for watching, have a nice one, and see you in a bit.